What is good, my journeys? What is good, my journeys? Listen. Be aware of who you friend. Be aware who you love and who you spend time with. Please be aware, man. Because energy is real. Now, I'm not shooting this video for you guys to go isolate yourself and be alone. I want you to connect with people and be in this love energy or in this connection energy with people. But I want you to love and like the right people because energy is real. And man, I just can't ignore it. Like if someone has dark energy, I can feel it. If someone has evil intentions, I can already see it before it happens. And many of us, we friend these people we think is our friends. And I remember shooting a video about how a lot of people be jealous of their own friends, success or their happiness, their relationships. And I'm telling you right now, if you've ever had a friend like that or currently have a friend like that, they're not your friend. Because a real friend is gonna support you. A real friend is gonna be there through your darkest seasons, even in your seasons of happiness, bro, of bliss. So right now, look at your friend group because energy is real. If you out here changing your life, healing, meditating, you better make sure your friends and the group is doing that. Because they, if they're not, their spirit is just stuck. It's just at one level. When you accessing all this knowledge and this information, or you out here meeting different people, you traveling, and you got this person that just wanna sit around and do nothing, I feel like it's unfair. Now, not everybody would be on the same frequency, meaning on the same mission, but they must share a similar energy, interest. If I put it like that, you feel me? But be careful who you friend, be careful who you love. Let's talk about these relationships, man. A lot of you guys be in these relationships and you think it's love, but it's not love. If your partner always have to check your phone, you guys don't trust each other. If you always gotta see where they going, you don't trust him, you don't trust her. You feel me? You have to know within here that your partner is loyal. You have to know within here that you guys are for each other. Because when I'm dating someone and I know I really got them, meaning that they've gave me reassurance, there's no worry. But if your partner is not giving you reassurance that, hey, they're only talking to you, they only love you, that they got you through your darkest periods, you're gonna feel unbalanced, you're gonna feel insecure. So. Most of you guys think you love somebody, but it ain't really love. You guys might have a trauma bond, meaning you went through the same thing growing up, and that's the only way you guys feel a connection. Um, and I remember growing up, because, um, you know, I'm a like of a person, man, so I've been in the presence of many people, you feel me? But the main thing I would see was the trait that I had was people felt safe around me. And that being said, a lot of people was able to open up and I was able to understand them and be on the same level as them in a sense. But a lot of us, we have these relationships where our lover don't make us feel safe. They don't make us feel seen or heard. And y'all be thinking it's love, but that's not love, bro. It's not. If you've been with this person five years, three years, and this person can't even tell you your favorite meal, what you stress about on a daily, your insecurities, if they can't tell y'all that, y'all are not in love for real. Because I've experienced what real love is. I'm talking about I probably wasn't even on the phone with this person, but felt this soul thinking about me and vice versa. She felt me thinking about her and we just end up calling each other. That's real love, bro. Love is spiritual, it's deep. It's something you can't explain, all right? But make sure you're getting the right love, man, because even if it's not love, friends, let's get back on that topic, man. Because some of you guys are going to be successful and you might be the successful person in the group right now. You got it all, man. You know, in your eyes, you got all the girls. <laughs> you got all the guys. All right, so sorry for the weird cut. If it was like a little cut in the video, a truck started bagging up and people started, you know, it, it was just crazy. All right, so we'll start over a little bit, all right? <laughs> but for real, man. You might be the successful one in your group. You might be the talented one and not everybody is able to help you. That's what I was trying to say. And they can really mess up your success, bro. 
Soul ties is real too, man. When you guys be laying down with people, you're taking a part of them and they're taking a part of you. So a lot of you guys wonder why your ex keep calling and texting and watching you. It's because y'all got a soul tie, man. And in order to clear that, you got to clear the energy within you. Within your friend group, I mean, people can really be jealous of you, dog. So you got to protect everything, man, with a sword. You know, you can love them, you can be that for them, but it's certain things you got to keep private in your personal life. It's certain things you can't share because it's precious to you. When I started becoming successful, I didn't start telling everybody in my city. I didn't even tell people I started blowing up on YouTube. I didn't tell family and friends. I kept it private, bro. And eventually they started to learn because the universe started to show them. You feel me? But certain things you got to keep precious to you, man. And there's certain thoughts I have that I never share with YouTube. You know, I never post relatives. You feel me? Certain things are going to keep precious and dear to me. So that being said, what is precious and dear to you? And if the person in your life is making that thing not precious anymore, <laughs> you got to leave. You got to go. Okay? But... You might want friends, you might want people you understand. I mean, you might want people that understand you and that's, that's, that's okay. But energy is real. Who are you giving your energy to? Who are you saying you love, you're loving, you're caring about? All those things are important, bro. Because when I'm looking at my relationships and the bonds I have, I'm looking at, okay, if she's deep, if she's understanding, is she controlling? And I'm pretty sure she's examining me. Is he controlling? Is he deep? He, is he that? So you always got to analyze people, man. Don't be so quick to let people in, but also don't be so afraid to let people in, okay? Because sometimes we can be overthinking, and I do too. I'll ruin the bun quick because I'm working out of my insecurities and not my logical mind or my spirit. You feel me? But... Be aware. And I'm only shooting this video because I've seen in my personal life, when I was aware of people, my life changed. Like when I graduated high school, I literally um, went to isolation. Like I didn't really talk to people I went to school with after high school and it wasn't me being bougie or, you know, <laughs> me thinking I was better. It was really about me trying to find my own personal voice, my own personal style, like what I liked and what I didn't like. Because, you know, when you go into high school or any type of school, even in the workplace, you can, you can, it's like you got to be more than one person, right? And I got tired of being more than one person. I just wanted to be Jacob. I just wanted to be me. So that being said, man, some of you guys have to find people or find a place, situations where you can be you. And that's why I'm saying you got to be aware of the people you let in, bro. Because if you can't be yourself around this person, they always judging you, criticizing you. They ain't for you, man. And I feel like when you're chosen, it's hard to find like-minded people. I'm going to tell you guys that 100%, dog. It's hard. But it's possible. And it can happen. One step at a time. You feel me? Love is real. You gonna meet your person. <laughs> but you just can't settle. And what a lot of us have been doing over the years. Before we became conscious. Is we've been settling for these connections. man, These relationships. And, and for the first time in a long time. I'm, I'm not settling. Like I'll be single. Until I meet that person. It just, it just feels like home. You feel me? If it don't feel like home, I'm, I'm not going to friend them, you know? If, if, if my guy friends, I feel like I'm not safe around them where I can tell them what I'm feeling or we can go out and I ain't got to worry about looking over my shoulder. If I can't, or if I feel like I have to look over my shoulder, I can't be around you. If I feel like I can't express what I feel, you know what I'm saying? Because we dudes and we got to be strong and tough. But, hey, to be honest, your boy is, is sensitive. I feel emotions. I'm tough. I'm strong. As you can see, I've built this stuff. But I feel stuff, bro. So that being said, vice versa for my queens out there. If you share something with your friend girl and she goes around and, and expose it to people and tell other people, that's wrong, man. 
if you feel like your friend always acting different when other guys come around, because you know they do that. They get all loud, they start talking about you, criticizing. Why you gotta do this in front of all these people, bro? You gotta do that to get their attention, I feel you. But, that being said, man, get the love you deserve. And I love you guys, man, like, I feel good today. I don't know why, it's just an inner knowing that I know something big is coming, and I'm just trying to like, brace myself. But <laughs> love you, man. Protect you. Honor you. Because for a long time, we've been ignoring our spirit. We've been ignoring what we feel, what we see, what we hear. But we will no longer do that. It is time to get the love you deserve, man. It is time to bless yourself and not just bless other people, but also bless you. And I've been blessing me. I've been taking care of me. You feel me? Um, I just like to always tell you guys that take care of your spirit, man. Take care of you. And know that you deserve the best life. And that's that's why I'm just telling you guys to, like, I guess watch watch your friends, man. Family and friends is, is the two things, man. Like, if you're not careful, bro, you'll be left empty-handed. And you can love these people. This can be grandma, grandpa, mom, dad, cousin. It doesn't matter, bro. You have to be aware of the energy they carry. Because not everybody walk with a good spirit, bro. I mean, let's get deep. Not everybody walk with, you know, those light spirits, man. Some people have these dark spirits and they unfriended them and didn't even know. They got this, this little dark aura. Like, I can see auras, I can see energy, bro. So whenever, even if I'm on the phone with you, even if I see a picture, I can see it, I can feel it. And it's like, if it's not genuine, if it's not light, I don't want to be around it, man. You feel me? Like, I do not want to be around you if your energy is heavy, if it's dark, if it's irritating my spirit. I mean, yeah, I've been, been around somebody and they just irritate your spirit. And they might really be a good person, but like I experience this, I might be on the phone with somebody and like my solar plex just feels tight. Like my root chakra just feels super duper tight, man. And I'm like, why do I feel like this? And it's kind of like my body let me know like, hey, you shouldn't be talking to this person. You shouldn't be associating with this, with this person, man. So sometimes you gotta listen to your body. Because your body is trying to tell y'all what's up, you know. But be patient with yourself also, man. Um, I'm sorry, y'all. My uh, <laughs> I had to yawn so my eyes might be watery. <laughs> but be patient is what I'm saying because you can crave love and want love. Even if it's from your, your friends because we generally do have a love for them and a type of um, care for them. And even if you do want real love, like, that person has to understand you. Keyword, understand you. Not just like you. Not just want to be with you, but understand you. Okay? But you're powerful. You're strong. You're smart. You all that, man. And don't let nobody psych you out of your position. I love to say that. But let nobody take you out of your position, man. If you know you're powerful, you wise, you smart, keep on talking your stuff. Keep on showing up for you. Because you are powerful, man. You are. I love this little spot I'm at, man. It just feels good. I don't know. Today just, I don't know, spirit. <laughs> I don't know, man. Look, I'm get kind of nervous because it's like, what's up? Hold on now. I feel a little too good. That's a good thing. That's a good thing, man. I'm about to get everything I pray for, and including you. You about to get everything you pray for. Type that down below, man. I want to see how many, how many of you guys made it to the end of this video. Type down, I'm going to get everything I pray for, because you will. I love you guys so much. Don't forget, I do have a website, so click down below. And go ahead and book, man. But other than that, love you guys. See you in the next video. Peace.